Hi everybody, this is Arkady Freckman, a New York City personal injury attorney. And today I wanted to read some of the comments we've been getting on our videos and to answer them in another video to be a little bit more personal and to dive into some of the issues that you, our watchers, have raised through your comments. So here's a comment we got just today from Frankie Gonzalez. And he writes, have cervical and lumbar herniations and two knee surgeries. The insurance company said I'm liable while stopped waiting for a green light after pulling out of street parking. The delivery driver was on his phone and didn't see my video. I mean, I'm sorry, my vehicle. And he does like a face plant. So yeah, first of all, when discussing the liability or trying to determine who is at fault, we see that, you know, Frankie doesn't sound like Frankie is at fault at all because he comes out of street parking. He stops for a red light. He remains stopped for some kind of appreciable period of time, like a second or two. And then this delivery driver who's on their phone hits him. So it's got to be the delivery driver's fault. And actually, I think that if this case was in New York, he doesn't say where it happened. But if this case was in New York, I would file for summary judgment. And that means I would get an affidavit from Frankie and or, you know, a deposition transcript if he's been deposed. But if there's no deposition and affidavit, just describing some of the same things he's saying in this comment and just saying, look, there's no issue of fact because I'm stopped at a red light. I pulled out of, you know, street parking, but I did that before. I'm already stopped for like a second or two. And then my car gets gets hit by this delivery driver who's not paying attention. And it sounds like if he stopped, it's probably like a rear end hit. Um, so it sounds like a really good case on liability. And then what happens is Frankie would get summary judgment, which means he has a judgment on the issue of liability. And now the only issue to be decided is how much money to pay to Frankie, the injured plaintiff, for all of his injuries. And once liability gets decided, the insurance companies don't like that because now they have to pay 9% interest on whatever that amount will be, the damages amount. So then he says he has cervical, which is the neck, and the lumbar, which is the lower back, herniated discs. And that just means the disc has ruptured and the liquid or jelly inside the disc is leaking out and touching the nerve roots. And this is a sample of one. You can see it here. This is a sample of a lumbar herniation, the red part. It's leaking out and it's touching this nerve root. The little yellow part is the nerve root and that causes pain. And he said that he also had to have two knee surgeries. Now, I don't know what kind of knee surgeries, but usually a knee surgery after a car crash can be due to a torn meniscus, which is a pretty serious knee surgery. So I would say one knee surgery is usually worth about 100, 150,000. If he needed two, it could be worth 200,000 and up. And if he's got those painful herniations in his neck and lower back, that could be worth another 100 or 200,000. So the total value of this case could be pretty significant. It could be even up to half a million dollars or more, depending on how much insurance is there from the defendant. Now he says the defendant was a delivery driver, so hopefully that means it was a commercial vehicle and there's enough coverage, like a million dollars in coverage. So then it would make it a really good case because liability is very strong and then damages are there. So those are the two things you need for a good case. So it sounds like Mr. Gonzalez Frankie here has a very good case. And he, re he wrote the comment uh, in response to the video, how much is my commercial vehicle accident lawsuit worth? What is my case worth series? So we did a series about value and what cases are worth. And that's where he talked about the comment. Okay, I hope this has been helpful. This is uh, in response to Frankie's comment and just analyzing his case based on the information he put in the comment. Now, if you wanna get a personal consultation, you could do that as well. Just text me to the cell phone number in the description or email us to the email in the description. And if your case is in New York, we'd be happy to give you a personal consultation. And we're actually taking on new clients in New York. We have to limit the clients we take to serious injury victims and their families, because that's our vision and our mission here to help serious injury victims and, and their families. We do get a lot of calls for like non-serious cases, but what we could do is we could partner up with other law firms and then we could co-counsel with them on the non-serious ones, like the little you know, contusions and soft tissue cases. 
and then you know we could we could get those cases handled as well through our partners but we're handling the serious injury ones and if your case happened somewhere else not in new york give us a call as well because what we're trying to uh, do right now and what we have been doing is establishing like a network we have lawyers in florida lawyers in california that we work with i'm actually admitted in texas as well and i have a lot of partners in texas so all over the country if we can find a lawyer for you who's a qualified you know top-notch lawyer we'll do that Okay, I hope this has been helpful. Have a great day, everyone, and let us know what questions you have. Okay, bye-bye.